what is intuition? And so, like I said, I think a lot of us, when we think about intuition, we think about the idea that, you know, somebody called us on the phone and the person who called us on the phone was the exact person we were just thinking about, you know, or the sense that maybe somebody was staring at you and you turn and you see that there was somebody looking at you from across the room or a feeling that you get when you meet a person of you have a sense right when you meet a person sometimes where you feel like I know what kind of person this is. They're a good person or this person makes me feel uncomfortable. I can't put my finger on it, but there's something about them that makes me doesn't doesn't make me feel good. Um, so let's try to think about it a little bit more precisely. Um, so like I said here, you, intuition is usually associated with a strong, some would even say kind of psychic feeling of what we should or shouldn't do. It's different from wisdom because wisdom comes out of experience and often uh, suffering even. You get older in life, you go through a lot, and then you develop, uh, hopefully, some wisdom to be able to discriminate between what you should or shouldn't do. This is different from wisdom because this isn't something that's born out of experience. It doesn't come from some suffering you've gone through in your life. It's a strong inner sense. Uh, it's not necessarily a rational feeling. And it tells us what we, that we ought to follow some path and not some other. And this is where I would say that the tantric model has something special to offer something very different from what I see um, in the world and in the culture, which is Tantra defines intuition specifically as two things. And there's two Sanskrit terms. Um, the first is Vivek or Viveka. And Vivek is essentially your conscience being able to discriminate between right and wrong. And the second Sanskrit term is Vairagya. Vairagya, if you've if you have experience with uh, other spiritual paths, and maybe you've heard this word before, vairagya usually gets translated as renunciation. Like, I renounce the world and go up to a cave to meditate. And Tantra is a very different perspective and does not uh, totally agree with that definition. The Tantric definition of vairagya is not renouncing the world but knowing how to use an object of the world for, the, for the, its use of welfare. How can an object be used in a constructive way for all instead of a destructive way for all? So Sri Sri Anandamurti usually gives the example actually of alcohol. Alcohol is not in and of itself bad. It has positive and negative uses. And the ability to understand that alcohol shouldn't be used as an intoxicant and should be used in perhaps different medicinal contexts is a reflection of a developed sense of vairagya. And so now that we understand what vivek and vairagya are, I want us to reflect on how different that might be to how we normally think about intuition. Because I think most of us, when we think about intuition, it's more about not just knowing the difference between right and wrong, but knowing that I should take this job offer instead of that job offer, knowing that I should date this person instead of this person. I mean, these are the reasons why people go to so-called psychics and get their tarot cards read. For the most part, people have some anxiety about the future. They have some anxiety about their life choices, and they want some confirmation from some inner spirit or spiritual guide that they're taking the right path. But the right path is defined as the path that will give them the most amount of pleasure and help them avoid the most amount of pain. And that's different from knowing in every moment what should or should not be done, what is right and what is wrong and how best to help others. There's something very different there. And so it starts with what is the foundational worldview of Tantra versus what is the foundational worldview of most of the culture out there that we interact with in the world. There's some 
fundamental shift that needs to happen. And when we understand that fundamental shift, it'll help us better understand why intuition is looked at this way in tantric cosmology.